I'm a runner, first and foremost. I think that's really kind of taken the forefront. I'm a daughter, a sister, a sister-in-law, an aunt. So three absolutely wonderful girls. And I'm a bride. <laughs> never thought that would come out of my mouth. <laughs> This weekend is my bridal shower and bachelorette party. We've got family into town, which was great that they could come out. It's gonna be a nice family weekend, and for such a long time, it was all about my family, and now it's about me. So, <laughs> it's a little bit change of pace. <laughs> oh goodness, audio too. <laughs> Hi, Mom. <laughs> This is so fun and I'm so glad to be part of the family and to get to celebrate this. You know, Kat always said she's never getting married, she's never going to do this. And here it comes and I can't wait to celebrate with them. to have a home and to have a family, to have a life together. To basically like, embark on this adventure, you know, with her. I just can't wait. At first, I didn't think he was into me at all. <laughs> he shook my hand when I said goodbye. I was like, yeah, no, this is not gonna happen. <laughs> But we had our first date, and then of course I left for a little over a month. But I wasn't entirely sure if I was coming back to California or not. But every day I was gone, I was getting text messages and phone calls. And I kind of thought, like, maybe he's into me. I came home and we were pretty much inseparable from there. <laughs> I grew up an asthmatic. Doctors pretty much said, you know, stay inside. And for the longest time, I just believed all the doctors and said, okay, well, this is my life and this is just what I have to deal with and my disease rules me. But I got into running and when I started running, I hated it. It took three or four months before I liked it. Then I came up with this crazy plan to do a half marathon every month last year, but I got it done. Lynn really has been my sister. Um, I didn't have a sister, I had two brothers. I had Micro Machines and <laughs> Star Wars. <laughs> My Barbies pretty much got beheaded or lost limbs or something like that. <laughs> so she's always kind of been my sister and everything like that. I think 10 years from now, I think it'd be great to kind of look back on this and be able to sit there and go, look at how we did back then and how far we've come. I want a really great shot of the two of us. Something that you know, just shows where we are today. We don't get to spend that much time together because she's in Florida and I'm in California. It's a, it's, it's a hike. <laughs> no matter what, it's a hike. It's something to commemorate the weekend, to commemorate our lives. We had a great year last year. We got to run our half marathons together. I'm so happy that we can share that. Maybe when we're old and gray and doing you know, the senior races, we look back and look how fit we looked and just kind of relive that youthful moment where we both got married and both started running and kind of bring us back to that time. I love weddings and I can't wait. I love her intelligence, but with that, it's also her independence. She doesn't necessarily rely on anybody to take care of us. I love his positivity. I love his love for life. I love how much he loves me and wants to show it all the time. I have a feeling that they will be extremely emotional on many levels, but I know my entire family is looking forward to it. So. To my parents, I love you. I'm so happy I've made you proud. 
They're the best parents in the world. Kat and Matt, congratulations, and so glad you found one another, and enjoy, celebrate. Thank you for accepting me as part of your family, and I'm really honored. Matthew said it best. He just kind of looked at me and said, well, you're my family. We are a family now.